Hello everyone, my name is Mitisha Gupta and I am your host for today's podcast, Win Over Hypertension. Where you can learn how to take care of your blood pressure through exclusive insights and practical advice. Today we're talking all things about hypertension. Why is it cost, how it matters and most importantly, how to take care of it effectively. Hello doctor, it's my honor to have you on this podcast today. Hello everyone, I am Dr. E.S. Prakash, uh, practicing diabetologist at uh, Patna and I am doing practice of diabetology since last 10 years. So doctor, by now we all know what hypertension is, but can you please elaborate on it? I mean. Why is it so important for us to take care of ourselves even when we feel fine? Most of the time, the patient when comes with high blood pressure does not present with any symptoms. Hypertension is a silent killer. But when the blood flows in high pressure, it obviously it will damage the walls of the blood pressure, blood vessels and ultimately what happens, ultimately the inner lining of the blood vessels is damaged and that will lead to develop impaired blood flow to the organs as well as there will be high chances of getting a stroke, heart attacks. Okay, but why is it so often called the silent killer? What makes it so dangerous over time? As per the Indian Council of Medical Research study, it shows that out of 12 Indians, one is suffering from hypertension and that hypertension is undiagnosed. Although there are studies where the prevalence of hypertension is very high and most of the time when patient does not know that he is suffering from high blood pressure, those group of patients may develop coronary artery disease or renal failure 10 or 15 years early. So doctor, I would like to know what are the most common reasons people develop high blood pressure? Is it genetics, lifestyle or something else? Recently, there are number of prevalence studies have been done which have shown that those patients who develop hypertension are obese or overweight. As per the South Asian population, we all know that visceral adiposity will reach to develop higher degree of insulin resistance and further higher weight gain will be there. Genetic is always a factor but it, it cannot be reversed. We all know if parents are, di- parents are suffering from hypertension, obviously those uh, children will have a two-fold higher risk of getting hypertension in their life. How is blood pressure exactly diagnosed? When looking at the blood pressure readings, can you elaborate on the exact numbers people should be looking at? Normal blood pressure is, systolic blood pressure should be in the range of 120 mm of Hg and diastolic should be 80 mm of Hg. Blood pressure diagnosis should be done at least 2 to 3 re- after taking 2 to 3 readings. If the blood pressure is more than 130 by 80 mm of Hg, it means that that patient is suffering from high, high blood pressure. So I would also like to know if someone has just been diagnosed with high blood pressure, what are the changes you would want them to make in their daily routine? The important change is the change in their lifestyle. Most of the patients who develop hypertension have a sedentary lifestyle and if they acquire a balanced diet and regular exercise and proper sleep, obviously that will help to come back the hypertension. And for the balanced diet, the dietary approach to stop hypertension is recommended, that is the DASH diet, which includes high amounts of mild to moderate amounts of fruits, vegetables, and lower amount of fat, as well as lesser amount of salt. We all know that uh, sodium will retain the water, so usually we take 6 grams of salt per day, but it should be lowered down to 2 to 3 grams per day salt intake and that can be easily done by cutting down the extra salt intake in forms of pickles or chips or biscuits what the patient takes usually. So if we educate our patient about the dietary, uh, dietary changes and uh, regular exercise it will help the patient. For the exercise part we can say that if a patient loses weight 5 to 10 percent from the baseline by doing regular exercise and the dietary control obviously it will develop, it will a very beneficial effect on lowering down the blood pressure by 5 to 10 mm of Hg in systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Can we say that hypertension can be treated without medication? Uh, I say no because most of the time if we do not give uh, uh, 
if we do not give a drug to the patient and monitoring is also poor the patient will land in complication but yes if the patient have a mild hypertension we can go with the lifestyle for 2 to 3 weeks but if it is not controlled with the lifestyle modification we can we have to give some medication because hypertension can cause acute uh, problems like stroke or heart attack or bleeding or hemorrhage also and sometimes atrial hemorrhage are very common in undiagnosed hypertensive patient or brain hemorrhages are very common in undiagnosed hypertensive patients okay doctor you just talked about medication right now so i would like to know what are the most common side effects that people should look out for while taking medications for hypertension like if a patient is suffering from copd or patient is having an attack of asthma and patient is also taking beta blocker it will uh, aggravate the symptoms so at that point of time we have to stop the beta blocker if patient is on diuretics and some patient will also have dehydration or acute illness we have to lower down or we have to stop the diuretics or electrolyte imbalance is very common with the diuretics if patient is on the ASARB high potassium level or hyperkalemia can occur in some group of patient but doing the dietary changes or uh, adjusting the dose of the drug we can lower down these side effects of the drugs okay when you say reassess regularly how often people should check their blood pressure and what's the best way to do it right blood pressure should be uh, should be measured in a sitting position if you are using an electronic uh, blood pressure ma machine which we also recommend for the home monitoring of blood pressure and it is in a sitting position um, uh, the cuff should be uh, folded on the arm and the patient before taking the blood pressure the patient should be in uh, should uh, uh, do not smoke for last 30 minutes and take some rest also uh, urination should be done by the patient before taking the blood pressure and after taking the blood pressure the uh, we have to tell the patient that if uh, if there there is a need we can do it after 10 to 15 minutes after that also because in some times white coat hypertension is very common in clinics so when we do the blood pressure check sometimes blood pressure rises significantly and that will aggravate that that will lead to have a false diagnosis also so we have to lower down by doing the routine checkup usually what i do i recommend the patient to do fast into the morning and evening blood pressure check before meals for four to five days at the home and then we can see that what is the mean blood pressure accordingly we diagnose it i would also like to know what would happen if high blood pressure gets untreated for years and what part of the body gets affected the most if blood pressure is uh, not treated for months to years obviously this patient will develop uh, some complications usually cardiovascular and renal complications are very common uh, apart from that uh, retinal complications are also very common so treatment of blood pressure is very important for this early diagnosis is important and if high blood pressure is there obviously there will be very uh, uh, and the blood vessel will be very hard due to the damage to the endothelial lining of the blood vessels especially the endothelium cells and that will uh, stimulate to have a plaque formation later on fat deposition will be there there that will also lead to impair the blood flow to the organs and ultimately organ damage will start so blood pressure management is very important and it should be diagnosed at a precisely way so this marks the end of our podcast win over hypertension i would like to say a huge thank you to the doctor for sharing such valuable insights to us remember hypertension isn't just a number it's a signal and with right knowledge and action it's absolutely preventable if you found this episode helpful do not forget to like share and subscribe and share your valuable insights with us always remember stay informed Stay proactive and most importantly stay healthy. This is Mithisha Gupta signing off from this podcast Win Over Hypertension.